location of your emergency. There's an officer down. There's a man down been shot. He's in the pharmacy right now. He's got the clerk at gunpoint. Shot fire, he's down! Okay, we got an officer down, officer shot. It's going to reduce the impact of the round and reduce the injury to the officer if they do take a round in the vest. Shots fired, sir. Shots fired. Tell you to 33 traffic, to 33 traffic. Shots fired. It's going to supplement our bulletproof vest. 217, uh, yeah, got hit. You're hit? 217, hit! It's going to further disperse kinetic energy to um, minimize the actual impact to the person wearing the vest. Hey, let me know about that hostage. I'm Jeff Bruckner. I'm a police officer with Sebastian Police Department. I've been in law enforcement for five years. Prior to that, I served five years with the Army Rangers and did multiple combat missions in Iraq. As an officer with the police department here and a member of the SRT team, I was able to participate in a field study that we conducted with the Zoom Bang ZB7 pads in, in addition with the ballistic vest. Basically what we did is we took, an, we took a block of clay. On top of the clay we placed a ballistic vest that we wear on an everyday basis. We shot the vest multiple times, three different times to be exact, once without the ZB7, once with one pad of the ZB7, and then a third time with two pads of the ZB7 just to measure and see what the actual impact is. We'll be shooting the first quadrant of the uh, tactical vest. Nine millimeter, two shots, no ZB7 pad insert, just a standard Kevlar vest. This is the, uh, the very first round with the hollow point, nine millimeter, 17.14. Nine millimeter ball ammunition without the ZB7 pad. 24.34 millimeters was the impact depth. During this study, we used multiple different calibers uh, of ammunition to include the nine millimeter ball and hollow point and a 40 caliber. Bottom left is gonna be the hollow point round. Top right is the ball, ball ammo. All right, so our first round for the ball. Our second round, wow, it was only 8.95 with one pad behind the ballistic vest was 8.95 millimeters, a 63% decrease in the impact depth. I mean, it's, it's very significant in the ball ammo, and obviously the depth is huge. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm quite impressed with it. And that was only one pad? Yeah, that's one pad. Yeah. Now we're gonna do it with two. It's a 40 caliber ball ammunition. Uh, no additional protection <laughs> behind the ballistic vest itself. And then where's the one with? This is the one with two pads of protection, same round, and one pad of protection. Uh, the 40 cal with no pad, uh, no ZB7 pad at all, we had a depth of 28.36. Uh, with one pad that went down to 9.03, and with two pads that went down to 3.92. Um, with the 9mm, it went from with no ZB7 pad, 24.34. With one pad, went down to 8.95. With two pads, it went down to 0 0.96. Uh, that's back face deformation. That's the distance that the, the the indentation of the bullet has made in the in the clay after it's hit the uh, after it's hit the clay. Those those are amazing figures. My biggest concern, even wearing the ballistic vest, is that secondary injury that's going to be sustained. I believe, I've seen it myself, I believe that the ballistic vest will work, but it's the secondary impact and that energy that's transferred from the round through the vest and into my body itself. So, what we discovered is that the impact from one pad dramatically reduces the impression in the clay molding of upwards of 60%. We found that with two pads, it's even more incredible and is upwards of 90%. I was very impressed um, by these results. I think this product has the potential to save a police officer um, from a dramatic injury for, of that secondary impact. I also believe that with this product being worn properly with the vest can keep an officer in the fight long enough to for backup to arrive, for help to get there, to accomplish the, the goal or mission that he has in front of him.
Thank <laughs> you.